Hi everyone, this is Tiffany with Raising House and Home. And today, I am sharing with you what we had for dinner all of last week. And I hope that this helps you with your meal planning for this week. Now, our first meal, I wanted to do something a little more special uh, than just having regular hamburg with some sauce. So I made some spaghetti. And then I had some red wine. And so I added it to um, the beef and some carrots that were sliced up real small and some spaghetti sauce. And then I made some garlic biscuits, which are super simple. And the recipe is on my, um, on my homepage. And I will put the link down below so that you can see uh, how I made it. And it was so simple and it looks like you made it all day long, but it was really easy and quick. <laughs> and the garlic knots um, are super simple from the biscuits, just like the fridge biscuits, like Pillsbury, but this was um, Walmart brand. And then you can make the topping with some butter and garlic and parsley. And then I sprinkled just some light Parmesan on top. And the wine really gave it a nice flavor that you just don't get from just adding the hamburger to the spaghetti sauce. And this is my plate without the Parmesan. <laughs> and then we needed a, need, a little bit of an easy night meal. So I ended up making some of our canned uh, Progresso soup. And it was a uh, penne chicken noodle soup type of flavor. So we had some soup. And then I had these um, dinner rolls that I didn't use for Easter. And they were the Hawaiian dinner rolls. So what I did is I cut them in half. And I put some sliced turkey, like lunch meat turkey, and cheese on top. And then I put the covers on and I cooked them in the oven for about uh, about 10 minutes uh, at 350. And it made the cheese melt really nicely over the turkey. Kind of like cheeseburger sliders, but instead of using hamburger, I just used some lunch meat turkey that we had to use up. And this was a hit with the kids, especially the boys. Just something super simple with some meat and cheese and... A little bit of soup to dip it in, and we were good to go. And here is my balsamic glazed chicken breast. I normally use this glaze for pork, but we had a lot of pork. <laughs> I think last week we had this so much. So we have our chicken breast, and this glaze, this balsamic glaze, is a huge hit with my kids. So I also had some what we call hobo potatoes and you slice up the potatoes and you cook it with onion and butter in a little bit of water in the oven. And sometimes you can put it in the um, like tinfoil packets. And then I put a little bit of salt and pepper and paprika on top. And I made banana bread that day. So I added some banana bread, some green beans with some butter and salt and pepper. And there's also butter on the banana bread. Anytime you can mix like a little bit of a sweet treat with your dinner, it's always a good thing. <laughs> Especially for the kids. And with the bananas, they get a little bit of extra nutrition if they don't eat all their green beans that night. And there's also a little bit of dipping sauce left over if you want it. Um, this plate didn't really have that much on it probably was mine <laughs> and then for our next meal this is also a favorite of the children we haven't had tacos in a while but I had some extra turkey left over um, from what I made last week and I have frozen it in little ziploc bags so that we can use it for different meals so I ended up using the turkey for our tacos and I just added some taco seasoning and um, I added our 
spaghetti sauce and a little bit of water, some cumin, things like that, to make my own sauce. And it's interesting because you think that turkey would not taste so good with tacos, but it really was good with it. And I think that turkey has a richer flavor than chicken, so it kind of added another dimension to the tacos, especially with the seasoning. And then I put some mixed greens and some cheese, different types of cheese on there. I actually think it says Mexican um, shredded cheese. And then we have some avocado, some salsa. And then of course we end it with a dollop of sour cream. And then we cut up a little bit of lime and you'll see that in just a second. And I like to squeeze a little bit of it on top and then just serve it with the tacos. Because sometimes like after you get down to the bottom bites, there's not as much lime on there. So you can kind of put more on there as you go. And there were many tacos ate in that night. My boys can really go through them. <laughs> And you can use your own taco seasoning with your sauce. I just happen to make my own because I have the spices available um, with the garlic powder, onion powder, um, the cumin, and some chili powder. And then the next night, we ended up wanting to use up some of the stuff we had left over for tacos. And so to make it a different type of meal, I made a taco salad. So it's pretty much the same flavors, but it's just presented a little differently. And it looks like you have a lot more food because instead of being inside of a taco, it's on the plate. It fills the whole plate. So you feel like you're getting a ton of food. So maybe that might be a little bit of a diet tip. And you feel like you have eaten a lot more <laughs> than you really have. And then we just... Um, cooked up the tortillas, the flour tortillas, just enough to be not really hard, but a little bit um, crunchy. And then we just break them apart and put them on top. And there's the meat and cheese. And then of course our salsa. And we have a medium and mild salsa. I prefer the medium because I like it a little bit spicy. But some of my kids like to have just the mild and my husband doesn't like the spicy stuff either. And then we put on the sour cream and there's a lime beside it. And actually with this sour cream, I had mixed a little bit of um, salt and pepper and a little bit of lime. So it's not just plain sour cream, it's, it's like a lime sour cream. And it was so good. I actually prefer to eat my taco fillings this way than in a shell. I'm a huge fan of taco salad. Now, I used to eat taco salad at Wendy's, and then they changed the recipe, and the hot sauce wasn't quite so hot, so I haven't had it there in a while. And then this is our stuffing chicken, and I also did a recipe for this, a video for this, um, and it probably will be going up later on this week, so I will add it to this video, and you'll be able to see how to make it. It's so simple and it's so good. And here is our baked potato with the chicken. And then some peas, which is a fan favorite. Not my favorite though. I don't eat them. And this chicken is amazing cold. I prefer it cold. Um, I like to slice it up really thin and either put it in a quesadilla or even make a sandwich out of it or eat it plain. It's, it's amazing cold. It stays really moist because of the yogurt and the stuffing. When you cook the chicken, all the juices stay in. So it's definitely one of my favorites. And I prefer stovetop stuffing, the chicken stuffing, to make this. But you can use any stuffing that you have on hand. Um, 
You can use turkey flavor, or this is even a pork flavor stuffing, I believe. And here is our Sunday dinner. I was lucky to find a beef roast, and you'll probably see that in my video of the grocery shopping that I did. Um, it's been a while since we found beef that was affordable, and I was able to find this roast. So I had it in the crock pot all day on Sunday, and we had some onions and carrots and potatoes, and then we had a few peas left over from our dinner the night before. So we mixed it all in, and then there's some gravy or au jus I used from the, the beef broth in the crock pot. And it kind of tasted like a deconstructed um, beef pot pie without, you know, without the puffy pastry. And my kids, some of them had uh, bread and butter with this. I was going to make biscuits, but we kind of ran out of time. And where this was cooked in the slow cooker, it was just easier to serve it like this and have a piece of bread and butter. And I do have a few loaves of bread. I bought quite a few thinking that they would go through a lot. And I'm trying not to go to the grocery store, but they haven't gone through that much. So we had to eat it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you guys some good ideas. Please click subscribe below and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I put up a new video. And I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're safe and healthy. And I'll talk to you guys soon.